Welcome to Keynote Introduction Objects Transitions. In the prior video, we looked at transitions for pages. In this video, we're going to take a look at transitions by object, as you're seeing on the screen above. This Keynote deck is the standard baseline deck, and if we play it, it transitions just like you'd expect one slide to the next. What we're going to do is we're going to add object level transitions. So let's take the first slide, and this is an object, that's an object, and that's an object. So we'll take the first object, and we'll go to Animate, and select Build In, and this is what brings the object in, and let's add an effect. Let's go ahead and pick Move In. And then for the second object, let's also pick an action that's a Move In, but we want the move in not to be left to right, but right to left. So we've got one choice on the effect that we want and second, attributes that we can control. The first one here moves in within one second. The second one here also moves in within one second. Let's make that closer to 1.75. And then there's a bounce component. So if we preview this, you'll see that there's a bounce there. Let's do that and the bounce is activated preview that, and it bounces just a bit. We can take the bounce off, and it'll come in and stop smoothly, decelerate to a stop. Let's leave the bounce in for now. Now that was the build-in where the text field comes in. We have an option to add an action. Let's take an action, and let's pick a bounce action for this one, and a bounce action for this one. Oh, back in actions, add effect bounce. Now when we play this slide, if we go to the slide and just play this one slide, on click it comes in and it stops, waits for a click, second one comes in, and then the bounce, and then the bounce. That's not what we want. So now that we've got these set up and we're on this page, let's select this build order down here. The first thing that happens is the create keynote moves in. The second thing that happens is the intro moves in. Now let's look at this. It says it moves on a click. Let's say we want it to move with build one, build one being this build here, build one. So when the create keynote deck comes in, the second one at the same time is coming in from the left. The third one, which is the bounce, the bounce component, is also on click. No, we don't want that on click. We want it to happen right after the characters come in after build two. We also want the intro to bounce at the same time as build three. So these things are coordinated now. Let's play this and see how that looks. One click. And there you have the first component built in. Now let's go back to the field and pick these two and say, all right, We've got the build order, it's coming in. Let's take the first item on the build order. We saw there was a little delay, and it's an on-click. What we want is when we transition into the slide, we want it to automatically kick off. So let's check that before we go any further. Run that, and as soon as the slide comes on, it works all the way to the bounce. Next, let's select both of them and select the build out. And for the build out, we can decide to make it all crumble in that way. Or we can choose something different. If we don't like crumble, we can have it disappear in a confetti. Now, once again, we see that the order is not together. Let's go ahead and select the build order and pick the last item. And it's on click. Let's not do that. Let's instead build with five. And where does the first confetti exit begin? It begins with this build five. So build five happens on a click and build six happens at the same time. Let's see if this works. Let's go back to the slide. There we have them come in and do the bounce. Now they're waiting for a click for the exit. So click and there we have an exit. So now looking at the second page, let's do something different with the second page. This is a a bulleted text box. And we'll do a build-in on this. We'll add an effect. 
And what we'll do is we'll have this drop and, and we'll do an action. That action is going to be a jiggle. And then we'll have a build out. And the build out is, is a fly out. So now let's look at the build order. The first item, it's not on click. We want that to happen upon transition. Second item, we want that to happen after the item appears. And the third item, the build out, we only want to happen on a click. So let's go ahead and see how this page plays. And there the jiggle's done. Now click and it vanishes. Moving on to the next page, let's do something different here. Select build, add an effect, move in, and that's from left to right. And let's have this move in and have it come from bottom to top. And let's preview that. There we are. And, and this one will have come in, move in from the left to right or right to left. Now on the first one, let's go ahead and do some action. And on the action, what we will do is we'll have it uh, bounce. The second one, when it comes in, we'll change that action to pop. And the last one, the text field, we'll select the action again. We'll go ahead and put in pulse. And now that we have them all together, let's go ahead and select the build order. So the rounded rectangle moves in, the double arrow moves in, and the graphical. Now, what order? The first one is on click. We want that to be after transition as soon as the slide comes up. The second one should be with the first one. The third one should be with the first one. So all three of these activities will happen at the same time. Now, as soon as they've moved in, we want the rounded rectangle to bounce, and that needs to be after they've all come in. We also want the arrow to pop with the same build, and we want the graphical message to pulse with the same build. Let's confirm they're all with build four. Good. Now we need to have an exit for each of these. So we can take the first one and go ahead and select build out and Select blur, and let's have this blur fade out in two seconds. The second one will add an effect and we'll make it a confetti. And the third one will add an effect and it'll be the crumble. So let's take these build orders and look at what we've done here. So the pulse happens with build four. This, so the rounded rectangle blurs first on click, and this is also an on click. We want that to happen with build seven, and the same for this. Let's look at that again. Play. They come together. They do their activities. We click, and the build out executes. This is a slide we're going to delete. We're not going to use this for the exercise. So we'll go ahead and select that and delete it right now. We're not going to use that. So on this slide, what we're trying to show is what we can do with photos. We selected the photos, as you can see, by these little marks around it. And we can once again come into build and add an effect. Let's have it move in. And we'll have it move in from the bottom as a first step. And let's preview that. Next thing is we'll have an action, and the action we'll do is a little jiggle. And the last thing we'll do on the build out, we'll have it crumble. Let's go to build order and see if these things are working in the right order. This should work after transition. The second one should work with build one, and the last one should be on click. Let's go ahead and see if this works. Run. It comes up and jiggles, waiting for a click, and then it all crumbles. Finally, let's go to the last slide here. On this slide, 
Let's select the table first and add a building. And we'll do a move in on that and do it left to right. The second one, we'll do an add in, move in. We'll do that from right to left. And then looking at the build order, we want the 3D chart to move with the first building. Now once they're in, we need to look at what actions we want to have them perform. We can take the first one and add an effect, and we can have it pulse. We can take the second one, and we can, on action, take the second one, and we can choose the pop. And once that's done, we're ready to do the build out. But before we go there, let's take a look at the 3D chart pop and say, when does that happen? On click. No, we want that to happen with build three. And we want the pulsing to happen after build two. So once the data is in, do the pulsing, and then we're ready for a click to be able to go into the build out. Let's select the item again and do a build out. Add an effect, we'll do the confetti here. And for the second one, we'll do the crumble. And I think we have our presentation. Let's take a look at the build order and make sure things are working as they should. So the first one should be on or after transition. Second one should be with build one. Third one is after build two. Fourth one is with build three. The exits are after a click. And the second exit should happen with build five. And then we'll be out of the slide deck. Let's see if this works. One click and a bounce. Second click to exit. Drops down and vibrates. Next click to make it go away. Sliding up, jiggles, and crumbles. And finally, the table and the chart. There you have it. What we've done is we've taken objects ranging from text boxes to charts to text to pictures or media and shown how we can have it move in, have an action performed on it, and have it move out. That covers all the core elements of this video, and I hope it helps. Thanks for watching.